Howdy, fellow horse game enthusiasts. If you're anything like me, your love for equines extends beyond the stables and into the virtual world. Today, I want to share my exciting news with you about a game called Unbridled That Horse Game. This game has been on my radar for quite some time, and after diving into the closed beta early access version, I'm thrilled to say it's a must play for anyone with a passion for horses or horse games. As someone who reviews horse games and creates horse content, Unbridled has been on my watch list for a while. The moment it hit early access, I couldn't resist. The temptation to immerse myself in a world that promised realistic horse mechanics and unparalleled customization options. And let me tell you, it didn't disappoint. You can design your own horse and ride it in the beta version of the game. Howdy everyone, welcome to the closed beta test version of Unbridled That Horse Game. Please keep in mind that you may encounter some missing sounds or visuals as we continue to refine the experience. It's also important to be aware that your save progress could be reset during this testing phase. So I'm very excited to play Unbridled That Horse Game with you. It is the closed beta test, uh, but yeah. So there will be some bugs, but we have the horse designer, player creator. We can lead our horses, jump our horses, ride our horses. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. It allows us to create our own unique storyline. And this is the starting page. So I like that you can already see an Appaloosa right away. Very cute. I noticed that my G-Force overlay gets a little bit bugged sometimes. Uh, but new quest, your first steps. Move forward, press W, move backwards, press S, move left, press A, move right, press D, show slash, hi sl slash hide mouse cursor, press left alt, open the quest interface, press L. All right, so right off the bat, love the artwork. Looks like Brave over on the wall. But this is our first quest. Welcome to Unbridled That Horse Game. As an as aspiring rider, it's important to grasp the basic movements uh, using the quest log. So this will just kind of walk us through the basics, which we kind of already did. And heads up, my quest was bugged right off the bat, and it required me to restart the game. So if you have that issue, you might want to try that. But once I was able to track and untrack my quest and complete it, uh, the next quest is upstairs and has to do with creating our character. So I went ahead and sped this up a little bit or we would be here forever because I really wanted to look at all the different options. I love that they have a different selection of body types and then they also have um, a bunch of different skin colors as well. So take a look, even a secondary skin color, vitiligo, which you don't see often in games and I gotta give it to them for adding that. I really like the freedom they have when you create your character. It's very realistic, you can adjust things, very similar to like Red Dead character creator in a way, um, but you can really customize the face, the brow depth, the size of the eyes, the size of the eyelid, um, and then even like different eye colors. So you can give your character two different colored eyes. And yeah, there's just like a lot to look at and it's kind of addicting. I could spend literally all my time here. It's really hard to just settle, but I think we're doing a good job so far. And so, adjusting my character's nose. I don't like to go too far from the original because I feel like that's a good base and it looks good, but I like seeing how the different things are affected, like with the cheeks and the fullness, the mouth, the chin, the jaw. You can all adjust these. So... Very similar to the Red Dead character creator in terms of what you can do and customize. With hairstyles, you have a nice selection. I hope that they include some more. I never see my hairstyle represented. Granted, it's not like the most popular hairstyle compared to like a ponytail. But yeah, I really like that they gave a bunch of options. We'll go with the basic ponytail. 
You can customize the hairstyle color and the eyebrow shape and color as well. You can add some face markings, which kind of reminds me of talking about a horse, but <laughs> freckles, eye bags, line marks on the face. We can do makeup, so eye makeup, eyeliner style, eyeshadow style, eyeliner color, eyeshadow color, face makeup, blush style, lip makeup, lip style, lip color. I really like that they made the makeup so easy to apply. I know in Red Dead it's definitely not as easy to apply. Um, I really like that you can adjust the opacity and the saturation of the colors. Well, the brightness as well. I think that's really cool. You can even add tattoos and nails. So like you can change your nail style and your nail color, which is super fun and I think an overlooked customization option for characters. Um, it's just so fun. I feel like they really did a good job with the character creator. I love our girl. She's so cute. All right, we do have a new quest. So a place for everything, item management, interact with the drawer. I think they mean this drawer here, but it's a little bit hard to interact with it. I realized some of the things with interactions, um, you have to kind of look at it a certain way with your mouse. You can't look at it straight on. Okay, come on. Let me, yeah. uh, so this is a good example of what I mean, but if you stand here by the bed, you can open the drawer and it looks like we are going to put our clothes on our riding clothes. We have a helmet. Very cool. A shirt, breeches. We got our boots and some glasses. Okay. So we took that all out of the drawer. And we're gonna put it on our character, very similar to the star stable menu in UI. I kind of like the familiarity of it. It seems like a simplified version too because it's all together on one thing. I hate that star stable has like a bunch of separate little windows for their UI. It's just very outdated, but that horse game, I feel like simplified it while keeping it familiar and it's not such like a learning curve to, I don't know, like interact with your inventory. But so we have to go visit the horse seller now, a new quest. Let's go to the local horse seller. Yes, start by stepping out of your front door and heading straight to the horse seller's place. I'm so excited. So once we're there, we need to talk to him. Looks like this is him. His name's Jeremiah and he's getting everything ready in his riding stall for other potential buyers. Afterwards, we'll get our very first horse. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Obviously, I think that's why we're all here. We want to customize our own horse and see what horses are in the game. So yeah, this is Jeremiah. He's a little bit hard to talk to because again, if you're playing mouse and keyboard, I feel like you have to look straight at things. Join Jeremiah in getting ready for the horse sale by lending a hand building a sturdy fence. Your support is essential. Okay, howdy there, partner. Prepare the horse. Um, it will ensure a successful sale of his beloved horse. So we have to like make a fence to so he can sell his horse. And this is what I mean. You've got to like look down at the fence in order to create it. I know a lot of people had an issue with this, so I'm sure it's something that is going to be fixed. I'm just, oh my gosh, I want to go see all the horses. My first companion. Select one of Jeremiah's magnificent horses to be your first companion. All right, let's do it. We have been waiting for this part of the game. Let's check out the horses. We have a lot of options. This pretty Palomino, this dark gray, light gray. Looks to be a Dunalino. This pretty little Pinto. And we got this bay cutie over here so what I learned is we can 
kind of appraise the horses. When we do that, we get all their personal information and body information. So personality, favorite snack, as well as uh, different abilities they might have and any markings. So tight turn is the ability that all these horses have in this arena. I like this dark gray a lot, it's so pretty. This golden palomino, very cute. But yeah, it says their favorite snacks, which is fun. Yeah, it's really hard to choose just one. And when you do pick one, you'll be put immediately in, into the horse creator. So don't spend too much time like trying to pick out your horse in the arena. Um, because you get to create a horse anyways when you choose it. So it gives us the ability to customize the gender, the personality type. Do we want it to be calm or hot-blooded? Favorite snacks, apple, carrot, blueberries, beets. And uh, you can also preview tack as well as play some emotes for the horses. I like that they have the cute little just basic emojis um, down there. Very cool. But there's so many different coat colors, a ton of different colors for the eyes. You can even change the eyelash colors and the whiskers, which I love. And I've been kind of like obsessed with the champagne horses lately. I just really like their genetics. I kind of am a horse genetic nerd. So yeah, <laughs> but the markings are literally endless. So you can have head markings, A and B, body markings, A and B. Then you get all your limbs. So your front leg, your right leg, your hind leg. It's just really amazing. Even the hairstyle customization, like your forelock, mane, and tail, you can adjust everything. So I'm trying to narrow it down on a color. I really like the Gruya, but I really like the champagne colors as well. And I need maybe a near leopard blanket. I feel like it's only right that our first horse be an Appaloosa of some sort. Uh, yeah, okay, so I like the way this is looking. Very cute. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. I really like the Gruya, but I don't know. I kind of am feeling the champagne as well. There's just so many options. That's pretty cute too. And it's like outside my element because normally I like the darker horses that are either like black or gray um, or very light horses which are like white or the light gray. So we're going to go with like this gold champagne I think it's just so hard because there's so many options so we could do the near leopard and a spotted blanket with medium spots and then maybe add some chrome to the legs I like that you can have um, the ermine spots too on the foot it's a nice little touch you don't see often but super cute. I love our horse. The mane, I don't know what we're going to do with, but I like that we have such possibilities here. I think that's like a good look. Oh, there's our classic champagne, amber champagne, gold champagne, sable champagne. All the champagnes because we're bougie today making our horse. We want some champagne. Okay, I really like that. I know we look really fancy, but I feel like this is a vibe I'm down for. Our horse likes beats also. I like looking at the little emotes, but we need to give our horse a name, and I think it's only fitting that since our horse loves beats, we maybe name it something from the office after Dwight Schrute. Schrute Farms. So this is Schrute. Shroot our gold champagne Appaloosa. Once we're done creating a horse, we end up back at our house. Ooh, I like this little preview of Shrooty. Look at our cute baby. 
I know Shrewd's a girl, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we completed the tutorial. I restarted the game, and when you restart the game, you're actually met with the horse you created as well as your rider in the loading like main page of the game so yeah i am kind of like really excited about that i think that's super cute that was not necessary of them to add but i caught that right away and loved it immediately okay so now we're gonna go outside and ride our horse we can even find an online session to play with friends. I tried doing this, but no, I don't really have any friends to play with on this game yet. So, yeah. All right, we're gonna go to the Forest Valley. I love this horse. It looks like one of my Red Dead modded horses that we did a playthrough on. Very cute. Okay, so this is the arena. Oh, look, there's Shroot. Hey, Shroot. Oh, so cute. It looks really nice in the sunlight, too. Okay. So we're gonna get up on our horse. And let's take a look at the animations, shall we? So the horse isn't really sliding along the ground, which is a good thing. Sometimes with the animations, it can look a little... Alright, that's a nice little transition too. The reins are slightly clipping into the neck, but that's like such a common thing I feel like that I don't even notice it anymore. But hopefully they'll work on that. No lead changes, I don't think. It would be really cool if somehow they could incorporate lead changes but whatever okay so let's try the jumping I okay so it really helps to count the strides Ooh, look at the turning animation I like that there's a nice turning animation with that the horse doesn't just spin in a circle and sorry about the weird green and black blob on my screen that's my g-force recording overlay and for some reason it only sometimes disappears when I play this game otherwise it's just stuck there in the corner so just ignore my pretend it's not there I think it really helps to count the strides while jumping and also this speed is pretty much the best speed for jumping um the jump all right while I have seen better I've also seen worse I think this jump is actually pretty cute I would like to see how it changes with different heights I wasn't really paying attention that much but I like that you can just click on the horse manager also and see like different things with your horse and that's how you apply the tack and all of that oh very cool okay so I'm, I'm a fan of the jumping is very satisfying and the controls are very similar to I want to say Star Stable and Red Dead Redemption 2 so I also like the noises the horses make it's I don't know it just sounds really cool and realistic and not like obnoxious horses neighing all the time i hate when people just add sound bites like that but yeah no so this game has been on my watch list for a while and the moment it hit early access i could not resist the temptation to try this game out um and let me tell you it is not disappointing you can design your own horse and ride it in the beta version of the game, which isn't true for some other beta horse games that are out there in development. Um, and I gotta say the horse mechanics are like out of this world amazing. It plays very similar to Star Stable and it has that familiar UI, but with a Red Dead style horse mechanic. So it gives you, I don't know, like a lot better immersion in the star stable controls when you have to like spam forward like the W button or whatever. Like I just hate star stables 
controls so much and I really wanted them to be more innovated and I feel like this game did everything I wanted with Star Stables controls and applied it in their own game. So I'm a huge fan. I think like the standout is the fact that it looks so real. I know that there was like a lot of creativity and crafting behind the scenes to make this. They actually had scrapped the original game and then built this whole new game. And the graphics are just so beautiful. And I feel like a lot of people have unrealistic expectations when it comes to horse games. They want them all to look and play like Red Dead, but that's just not possible. It's really cool to see this open world that they've built and they've actually not raised money up until now. So after they released beta, they did start a Kickstarter, which I suggest you all check out if you want to support Unbridled That Horse Game. Because I'm really excited for the potential growth and improvement and I think this game is going to offer a lot to equestrians and horse game lovers and just horse lovers in general. The extensive customization options, the riding activities, you can trail ride with friends, you can compete, and then you're going to be able to breed horses. It's pretty much everything we've been asking for. You can find them over on Steam. I'm also going to link uh, all their social media and stuff in the description below. I'm sure you've heard other people playing this game. It's been in development for a little bit. But I think it's a must play for anyone who loves horse games or has a passion for horses. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Unbridled That Horse Game. Thanks so much for watching and I appreciate it. Take care.